Lyrics coming at you with supersonic speed. Yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Cartridge Master here again today for another card tutorial. So today, I'm going to show you the tutorial to the performance I just uploaded earlier. This tutorial is going to be great. Before we begin, please like this video and subscribe down below and comment on any video you guys want me to do next. Thank you. Without further ado, let go. Yo, welcome back to the tutorial video. So let's get started. So what you want to do is you want to give them nine cards. So three, six, nine. So there's nine cards. And you have the spectator look through these nine cards and pick out any card. Let's say they pick out the six of diamonds. You have them put that those nine cards down and have them place their card on top. So the six of diamonds is on top. For this tutorial, I'm going to have the card face up so we know where it is. After you did that, you can take the cards, give them a shuffle, and you can set the cards on top. So now, their card is in the 44th position. For this trick, you need to have a full deck of 52 cards, take out the two jokers and any extra cards that the deck gives you, so you have 52 cards, and make sure their card is in the 44th position. So if you, do, if you deal out the 9 cards, and have them put their card on top, and then put the rest on top, it's automatically in the 44th position. So this card, this trick is self-working, so if you do this with any card, it'll work. So now what you do is you play that little game that you played, and you can do a little false cut, like a table cut, or the, the cut I showed you, or you can do the Sybil cut. I have a, I have a tutorial video on the Sybil cut, I'll put the link in the description box below, and I will also put my link to the performance in the description below. Anyways, but now that their card is in the 44th position, you play that little game where you deal out 10 cards, and if you match the card that you say, you move on to the next pile. If you don't match it, you cap that pile with the face down card. So, for example, you do 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Okay, there's a 4, so you'd move on to the next pile. 10, 9, 8, 7. Okay, there's a 7, so you'd move on to the next pile. 10, okay. Jacks, queens, and kings are worth 10, and aces are worth 1. So this 10, so you move on to the next pile. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and then you set one on top. So now you take the three open piles, 1, 2, 3, and you add them all together. So 4 plus 7 is 11, plus 10 is 21. So the 21st card down will be the card. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Always. Every single time. So let's say, for example, that you're in this position where you have three capped piles and one extra pile that needs to be capped. But don't actually cap it because this means that their, they, their card is the next card. So when this happens, you just tell them, well, you have three capped cards and one card that needs to be capped, but that means that this is your card. Yo, I hope you liked that tutorial. I like that trick. It's a self-working trick. You can use it on your friends to fool them. Thank you. I will see you guys in the next video. Remember, keep mastering life. Yeah, 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 yeah.